Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another reading, beloveds. I will all is blissed in your world. I want to give you a forewarning. I am on call for the weekend. So if you do hear the phone ringing in the background and I have to pause, I'm just giving you just the heads up. <laughs> but how are we doing, beloveds? I will all is blissed in your world. I will everything is everything. I thank you all so much for tuning and tapping into the channel. It feels amazing to be back. It's a lot going on, but I still got to incorporate these readings for my Scorpios because I know y'all be looking forward to them. So what's been going on? A lot. A lot has been going on. Energy has been crazy. But I've been doing everything in my power to just stay grounded. And I definitely encourage you all to do the same thing. Definitely protect your peace, protect your energy, and don't let nobody come around trying to take you off your throne. You already know what the energies are right now. So you have a lot of distractions, a lot of things pulling and tugging on your energy, on your attention, and you just got to ig the ignorance, beloved. So we're going to delve in and dive in. You know, the, I do deep dives here. So, you know, the algorithms don't rock with me like that because my readings are usually an hour and a half to two hours. And that's okay. I'm here for those who are here for me. So it's all love. But I do ask of you so that others can start to discover the channel and even eat this food that I have displayed and presented to you so other people can you know get the jewels that they need and get some intel some insight so please 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 you already know how it works on YouTube please like the video if you rock with me subscribe to the channel if you haven't and definitely hit that bell notification so you know whenever I upload because I upload whenever spirit tells me to I don't upload daily I'm not chasing a check I'm not on here for entertainment purposes, I'm really here whenever I feel like spirit has something that it wants me to communicate to you all. So whenever there is a message for me to disseminate from spirit, that is when I appear. Um, so you will not get a daily reading from me. I just can't do that. I tried to do that before and it was just, it didn't feel authentic. You know, um, my readings, as I said, are deep dives. So it's going to take some time for you, beloved, to kind of shovel through and sift through the messages. Um, you may need to take a nice little walk to hear the download. Some of you may need to play and then pause and go back to it because it's that much. It's that much information and outformation that is disseminated in my readings. Um, and it's all from source. Like I said, check the energy, check, check the energy. Like in my last five videos, do your own due diligence and just watch how what I say in the beginning before I've been touched the cards, watch how those messages appear in the reading. Even the cards that I mentioned, whether it be a wheel of fortune or a sun, you'll see that card show up. Um, you'll see the energy, the songs will start correlating. So it's a very, it's a process for me. It isn't just, oh, let me put these readings out so I can get views and so I can get some money. Nah, it's, this is really about the energy wanting to bliss y'all with, with some messages, some downloads, you know, some insight for your situation. So I do will that you all are, um, you know, I know y'all are appreciative of it, but I do will that you take it seriously. What I do here, I, I not to, you know, not to, uh, speak negatively about anybody else. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying that, um, I always want you to do your due diligence and I want you to know that sometimes, um, it's necessary for you to kind of take a pause, take a moment and, and sit with the energy and you can't sit with the energy and, feel what's genuine if you got a gazillion reading circulating and you're just going from reading to reading to reading to reading based off of the title because a lot of people do clickbaity type of um titles just so you will click on it like oh my god i cried like oh my god i cried in this reading or uh, scorpio you know, stop everything this is like it's just so clickbaity and so like annoying but they know that that's what people are looking for so be you know i know y'all the ones that tune in on my channel y'all are a different breed y'all of scorpios y'all are definitely ones that have been doing the work and you're not just looking for you know that good feeling type of message you're looking for the real you know because you just came through some real ish so i appreciate y'all and that's why I just ask that you know the love I ask for is reciprocity um, if I'm sitting here 
and 444 I just saw too so you guys got a lot of beautiful angels and energy angelic energy and presence around you and about you and that's why I strongly cater to you all though you are my tribe you know because you guys are the ones that can see through the nonsense and the bull crap and y'all appreciate the in-depth readings which means that your attention span like you have to have a very keen attention span because when you're learning it requires that when you gotta just most people that are doing reads you you see it's only 10 minutes 10 7 10 minutes 5 15 minutes it's because they're just pushing out readings every day just to get the numbers and it's not really so much about okay let me really put the energy in and focus in and hone in on this Scorpio energy to give them a message or a download. It's really just about, let me, it's almost like, you know, like a, a warehouse, like you just, you know, getting it done cause it needs to, you know, it's just not, it's to me, it's not anything spiritual about it. Five, five, five on the clock. Beware of the devil. The devil is out there. And I've been saying a lot, false prophets, um, as of recently. So just be mindful that there's a lot of false prophets and this is the year of karma. And you're going to start seeing a lot of these people that you may have looked up to a lot of people that others may have looked up to. You're going to start seeing them fall the tower is coming down and it's for a reason because this isn't the season for the fugazi <laughs> if you've been fugazi and you've been fake and you've been you know getting by just because you've been on some fraudulent ish or you've been getting by because you're riding other people's skate you know um you know um you, you've been like riding other people's coattails um this is this isn't the year for that this there's going to be a lot of exposure and i just really like i really feel like spirit is telling you to trust your intuition use your first eye to see see through the nonsense i always encourage you guys to use your own discernment never submit your will to anyone me included that is why during my readings i always make it my business to show you what i am saying because i want to make sure to encourage you to make hold people accountable like if they say something make them prove it to you like let make them walk how they talk make them show you because they can show you better than they can tell you if you just listen to people's words you're going to get boo get you're going to get bamboozled out of your your clothes like you you have to hold people accountable i don't want to hear if i'm listening to a reading i want to i want to see if you calling yourself the intuitive goddess then i want to see some i want to see some examples of you exuding and exhibiting some form of the intuition uh, like uh, without just you know like just saying it like show me i'm a show me type of person so most of the people that i come across i'm just like and they be having the most exuberant numbers and follow i'm talking 100,000 200,000 one person got like 700,000 i'm like why because there's no display of intuition or it's just it's just sensationalism and it's really just entertainment. It's just like maybe they just really have a dope personality and people love that and that's cool. But don't call yourself something that you have not proven yourself to be, you know, and 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 they can call themselves whatever. I'm saying for you, if you are going to tune into said folk, make sure that they are proving to you that they are what they say they are because otherwise you could be led astray. This is not the year to be following anyone. Don't follow anyone. Always stand on your square, perpendicular on your square. Always be a leader. Never be a follower. I'm not catering to followers. That's why when people come to me, I'd be like, don't, don't come to me for the answers. You know, I could give you advice, but it's always from my perspective, but I want you to choose what's best for you. You sit with your situation and you discern what's going to be best for you. Don't come to me for the answers because I don't have answers for you. I have answers for me. And the same way I go within to seek wise counsel, I, I always encourage you guys to do that. It's okay to, to listen to a reading and to get some jewels, to get confirmation. Because I know that's what a lot of you all do because you're intuitives, you're psychics. So 
It's cool to get those confirmations like, yeah, okay, boom. Yep, I knew that was going on. Yep, yep, that's confirmation. Boom, yep, that happened. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times that's cool. But when you're looking for people to give you the answers, like I, I be seeing people like literally be like, please, can you tell me, is this gonna happen? And and it's like, yo, you, you already on the wrong start. Like you can't be going to mere mortals looking for the answers. You're you're idolizing people. Idol tree is, ugh. That's not what we're doing here. So we got to make sure that we hold ourselves accountable. And as someone who does this work, <laughs> because I does this and I take this seriously, which is why I had to take a little pause because I was just seeing the influx of fakes and fugazis, people who don't even know how to interpret the cards, people who have no idea. They just go watch somebody and then verbatim say everything. Like I've had people who have crazy followers literally watch my channel and then sh like steal titles, steal verbiage. Like I speak differently. When I speak, I speak differently. And there was a lot of things that I noticed that I was saying, even incorporating music. I'm seeing people do that. I'm seeing people breaking down things in a similar way. And it's okay because they say, you know, when you, when you are, um, What's that saying that um, it's a form of flattery? Like when you're when you're trying to, um, I don't want to call it copying, but uh, you know uh, what is the word I'm trying to say? I digress. It escapes me because that's how mundane that thought is. It's just like it. it it's it. I just want you. I don't want you to be misled. I'm going into this whole diatribe because I strongly feel like. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. Don't get distracted and don't let anyone distract you because there are a lot of distractions. There's a lot of folks out here pretending to be things they're not. And I feel like because you're so intuitive, you're going to see right through it. I feel like you also can see through um, people who have um, ill intentions, but they're trying to smile and beguile their way to convince you that, oh no, it's actually this when it isn't. So just trust your intuition always. It'll never steer you wrong. So with all of that said, beloveds, let's delve into your reading. Before we do, you already know I like to get some house cleaning done, beloveds. So let's go ahead and do that. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beloveds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we got coming from the numerology deck, beloveds. Put these cards over here. All right. And yep, there we go. All right, so the bottom of the deck, we have love partnership. So this card actually came out for someone that I just did um, a personal spiritual consultation for. So um, this is just kind of veggie backing off of that message. This is an eight universal year. I did mention that in my build earlier, but this is saying with love partnership, I always get like the eight of cups. So this energy is showing me that there is some sort of um, positive movement forward because you're moving away from something or someone that no longer serves you. It could have been a karmic situation that you've learned so much about. Um, the time on the click up, Kliz Ock and the song is playing, we got the number one and this song also played. This is beautiful. So th this, that person must be watching this reading as well because some of the same messages are coming out. So um, Slum Village, and this is called um, Scheming plotting and scheming and this is featuring jay dilla um and fife dog who are both you know in the spirit realm so rising power to those kings jay dilla's from d-town detroit some of you all could be from d-town detroit uh fife is from long island or queen is it queens 
Oh, I always confuse where they're from. I believe it's Queens. Um, but he's a part of Tribe Core Quest. So with Slum Village, I definitely get a sense like things were definitely difficult in the past. You know, you've come out of a very tough cycle, but now there's some sort of positive movement forward. I feel like you were dealing with a situation, like I said, a karmic situation that taught you a lot about self-love because maybe you were dealing with someone that didn't love you right, dealing with someone that didn't appreciate or value you or honor you or pour into you in the way that you may have poured into them. With scheming, I I absolutely get a sense of like there could have been moments where you felt like this person was kind of sabotaging situations like there was always some ulterior motive that you felt and it absolutely was the case but you the seeds that you were sowing in good faith while they were sowing them in bad faith this year the year of karma is the year you're going to receive your return on all of the hard work that you've invested in that relationship even if it went you know, topsy-turvy, even if it failed, spirit still acknowledges your work, your effort, and even your good heartedness, your kindness, your good intention in that situation. It didn't go unnoticed. So whatever seeds you've sowed, I feel this is the year where they will harvest and you will receive a blessing. I also feel because this song isn't so much like scheming to plot on in, in a negative way, but this is someone that you may have that could be a potential like, um, you know, secret admirer, because this is someone like plotting to come towards you, um, you know, kind of see, uh, you know, secretly planning and preparing um, to come towards you, to approach you, to express something that they want to say to you. What we have here is 96 forgiveness and 26 that is the love partnership. So spirit is reminding you that forgiveness is for you. A lot of people, especially Scorpios, we do have a tendency to become very like vindictive. And that is really, uh, to me, those Scorpios who are still learning, you know, in that process of learning where you may, you know, you want to seek for vengeance. You want to, you want to get them back, but the best vengeance is always your success. So that is the best way to get clapped back at anyone, anybody that doubted you, anybody that questioned who you were or questioned your value. It's always the most beautiful you know, revenge is when you can turn the tables and show them who they're missing out on. So Scorpios are very good at reinventing themselves. We are the death card. So we are the ones that are always emerging, someone new, someone different, someone transformed, someone who's had some sort of spiritual rebirth, um, 1717. So that's eight, eight that breaks down to 16. So whatever tower situation that happened where things ended and it was destroyed and someone thought you were destroyed right along with the smoldering, you know, debris, you rose like the Phoenix from the ashes. But spirit is also saying your forgiveness that's for you. So whatever may have transpired in a former situation, you forgiving, not only that person, but yourself forgiving those who could have been a accomplices in that situation that always frees you because your anger, your in animosity, your resentment, your hatred, all of those things anchor you. So you're literally stuck in that same space and you cannot move unless you free yourself. Freedness is lightheartedness. Freeness and forgiveness is one in the same. So when you forgive someone, you free yourself of that situation. Some of you all may have like soul ties with someone and you may simply you could simply free yourself by simply saying that I in 1818 that's 9999 breaks down to 18 again and 18 that is the um what is the 18th card that is the moon so the moon so there was things that were hidden but as I was saying you could free yourself from someone that could potentially be like a soul tie like you have a soul tie to by simply just saying I free my energy from XYZ and their energy is freed from me. It is done it is so just as simple as that. Like set the intention, see in your mind's eye, like a, a scissor cutting you from some sort of, you know, a uh, thread that's connecting you to that person and free yourself. But forgiveness is what's going to 
take you even further in a situation. The moon, we are in a new moon energy as of today is six, no, as of yesterday, six, six. So during this new moon, I feel like you should work with this cycle of the moon so that you can start drawing in what you want. That way by the full moon, whatever you are calling in, whatever you're drawing in, it can absolutely manifest. Even if it's just merely just, you know, to, to be in a different state of mind, 18 breaks down to nine, that's the hermit. So maybe taking a pause, a moment to step back and to assess things, to gain a deeper, more profound understanding you will be able to start you know co-creating with source to manifest something new because the moon is really about what's hidden the moon is also using your intuition so definitely trust what you're feeling intuitively um but i also get you know with your that 40 um i'm sorry that 69 or 96 <clears throat> that there is you know strong a strong inkling a strong inkling that you need to forgive someone that has wronged you or a strong inkling that you need to trust your intuition when it comes to forgiveness because forgiveness doesn't mean people confuse forgiveness for taking someone back forgiveness does not mean taking someone back it just means that you're forgiving them for what has occurred in the past the past is the past if you're trying to move forward and you're still holding on to someone energetically emotionally spiritually based off of the wrong they've done then you're stuck right there with them so it's a stagnant energy that's why forgiveness, as I said, is correlated to freeness. You will be free from a situation. What we have right now is Melissa Morgan, and she's talking about love changes. So there absolutely was some sort of love changes. And I feel like the change was that you had to leave a situation behind because that's what I was given with this 26 love partnership. So love changes, there could have been endings, but every ending we already know, it denotes a very new beginning, a beautiful beginning, an exciting beginning. And this is based off of what you deserve this time around. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection, what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpio spirit? Let me get a message of peace, message of power. Someone's name could be Melissa or Morgan or someone's name to start with an M. M&M. Someone may like M&Ms. I heard peanut M&Ms. Stop eating them M&Ms because if you look on the back of them things, it says genetic, you know, bioengineered, you know, so don't eat certain things. Please look at the labels of things nowadays. Like you got to start being conscious of what you're eating, what you're digesting, ingesting, what you're watching, what you're listening to. I've been saying that for the past two, three years. And now it's something that's being said, you know, globally, like, yo, you got to be very mindful because your livid isn't just what you're eating. You know, it's also what you're ingesting, what you're listening to, what you're watching it's a it's a whole thing so um if some of you all are like i heard someone is addicted i'm because i keep seeing like the package of the m ms the peanut m ms it was like yellow and so i keep seeing that so someone may like be like addicted to yellow m ms like because the ones with the peanuts in it but if you look on the package it'll tell you that it's made from bioengineered products. So that means that the peanuts in it, I just saw two, 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 two. So spirit is telling you that you need to trust your intuition. And it's also representative of your health because the two, 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 two is an eight, um, eight card. And the eight card is like your strength. So, you know, it could be a, a affecting your health. And I feel like spirit is saying you're stronger than any addiction. So if you are addicted, you know, some people just have like little addiction. Like I love chocolate chip cookies. Like that is my vice. Okay. Like I'm sharing. I am a cookie monster since you, <laughs> since little you, them, I just, any type, and I'm a chocolate chip connoisseur. I don't like just any type of chocolate chip cookie like it gotta it gotta be baked the right way it has to have the right semi-sweet morsels like it has to have some some walnuts like it, I, I don't like too sweet and i don't like I don't like sweet, sweet. I, I, you know, it's, it's just a whole thing for me. So maybe some of you all have those same type of addictions. 23, 23, five, five, that's 10. So that's about an ending karmic completions endings, but it's also something is turning. So if you are, you know, if you do have certain addictions that are no good for you, I feel like this is spirit's way of saying like, now it's time to start focusing on healthier ways. So replace that, that peanut M&M with just peanuts and make sure don't say bioengineered. Um, if you like chocolate and such in your, you know, with peanuts, maybe look at a healthy, 
um, trail mix option. But I feel I just feel like spirit is wanting you to focus on your health, on your health and your wellness. Um, so your cards have chose themselves. We have Faith Evans and Carl Thomas, and it says can't believe. So a lot of you can't believe how far you've come, but it's because you've walked in faith is what I'm hearing. Someone's name could be Carl or Thomas. First, middle, or last. Faith Evans is from Jer um, New Jersey, so some of y'all could be from New Jersey. I think Carl Thomas is from like Maryland or Philly, or uh, he's he's from somewhere. I, I don't think he's from New York. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure where he's from, but I know Faith is from Jersey. But I feel like a lot of y'all walked in faith and not by sight. Like that's how you've gotten this far. We got the three creativity. This is the Empress energy, but that's also the solar plexus. So I absolutely feel like a lot of y'all are trusting your intuition, your gumption. If you haven't been, I feel like that's what spirit is telling you. Let your spiritual navigation system guide you and lead you because there is something amazing that is going to take place. A lot of y'all are tapping into your creativity at this moment, perhaps. Maybe you're honing certain skills. Maybe you're mastering something or you're learning something. You're researching and, and building your wealth of knowledge. But this is also a card of the Empress. So a lot of you could be, you know, really just in your maternal energy. If you're masculine, you could be in your paternal energy, you know, just really taking care of the home, the hearth, being very nurturing, very protective. You're definitely master manifestors. I feel like you are master manifesting something like you are so skilled at calling in and drawing in what you want. That's why I was picking up like some of y'all may be working with the moon energy, the cycle of the moon, because we're in the new moon. We just had the six, six portal yesterday. And that's really about a time of like, you know, because the new moon is when you're 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 working on that craft, you're mastering it, you're setting the intention, you're focused, you know, like that's when you're co-creating with source and by the full moon energy, that's when it manifests or it materializes, if you will. So this is like self mastery. So some of you all could find out that you may be pregnant with child. I'm getting a sense of like fertility as well, but I'm also getting a sense, like always trust your intuition because that's, what's gotten you this far. I feel like walking in faith and not by sight. A lot of y'all would have just left, y'all would have quit if you were just walking by sight, by the appearance of how things were happening in your life. Because maybe it's been a struggle. Maybe you've been struggling financially. Maybe you've been struggling to the point where, you know, it's difficult to get groceries because we in a whole epidemic out here, like recession. You know what I'm saying? And inflation is real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was sharing with y'all how one week I went to Walmart to go get wipes because I like to still buy wipes, you know, from, you know, from my household. And... And, you know, one week it was like four and change. Go back and it's damn near $8. You know what I'm saying? One week I go to get a cans of ginger ale. I like to keep that for like, you know, just nausea and things like that. When you're feeling sick to the stomach, you get you a little can, of, you know, ginger ale, you be all right. And one week it's like a dollar and change for like a six pack mini. And the next week I go in, it's damn near four or five dollars. So it's just like inflation is real. So some of y'all have been struggling and you've been going, you know, it's just been a struggle to stay optimistic perhaps. Um, because everything in your life just seems to be like, damn, it's one thing after another, but you have to change the way you speak about your situation because the way you speak about it is what you're manifesting. And I just saw 27, 27. So that's nine, nine, which means that there's some sort of ending because nine is the highest number of change. So something is changing. Something is about to change in your life. And it's going to, cause we got Cheryl Lynn, take me for a ride. Good time. So what you don't realize is there's something good that's coming in. There's a pivot, there's a shift, and it's going to be a good time, a positive time. And this is why spirit is saying walk by fight, walk by faith and not by sight. Because just because something appears one way doesn't mean that's the way it is. That's the, the you know, the, the, the trick the devil tries to pull on you. Like, let me let, that's why he throws so many curveballs, And that's why your faith has to be strong. That's why you have to protect your energy. That's why you got to be mindful of who you have in your cipher. That's why you got to be mindful of who you share in your personal business with, because those are the things that they use against you. But when your faith is strong, nothing that's going on around you will ever shift you or you, you won't ever waver because you'll know that you, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're, you're rooted in something solid, which is the most high, your, your spiritual system, your angels, your guides, your higher, you know what I'm saying? Your spiritual family got you. And you, when you know that, then nothing. 
nothing can shake you or shake your foundation. So let's see what cards chose themselves. So we have the number time out. Uh, I said the number time out, 37 time out. That's 10. So endings. I was just telling you nine was the highest number of change. Then the 10 is the ending. So this is saying something is ending. If you all have been in time out, I feel like that's what's going to change because good times are coming in. Someone's name could be um, Cheryl or Lynn. Someone could be from Lynn, Massachusetts. Someone could be dealing with someone named Cheryl. I see Bart also, so I don't know if some of y'all grew up watching Bart Simpson. And I'm also getting a sense like some of you all may also be like, you know how a lot of people speak on how the Bart Simpsons, like the Simpsons have predicted so many things that have occurred in our reality. And so there's like whispers of like, you know, time travel and things like that. I feel like some of you all may be psychics. Like you could be like someone who predicts things or a channeler of some sort. Maybe you are an astral traveler. Like you may have some sort of skill like that, but I feel like something is shifting. I feel like you're master manifestors as well, because this is the number of the magician. Something's turning and this is based off you, you know, setting the intention or co-creating with source, using the elements around you, you know, knowing how to manifest what you want, journaling, visualizing, speaking affirmations and being diligent. This isn't just doing it one day and then being like, okay, when is it coming? It's like if you've been very diligent, very consistent you know what I'm saying? But this time out is why? Because you've been busy cooking up. I heard cooking up something. You're cooking up something special. And this is going to bring in some sort of um, windfall because this is the wheel of fortune. The 10th card is the wheel of fortune. So I'm feeling like there's something changing positively, monetarily. You know, I'm seeing like there's gains, you know, from your losses, there's gains. And this has a lot to do with that karmic situation. So you could very well be getting rewarded. This is going to take you for a ride of your life. I feel like, you know, this is like a turning point in your life. Because this 37, the 10 ending of the, you know, past circumstances, the death of the old is now birthing something new. And this is going to be a ride. You know, um, it says, take me for a ride. Some of y'all may be getting a new vehicle. The next card you have, this is the overall energy, so time out. So some of y'all have been like in that hermit mode. Some of y'all have been in a space where you've been just really focusing on yourself. Remember, we started the reading with one, and this is the first card that came out. 37 is 10. That breaks down to one. So new beginnings. I'm feeling like if you were in time out, now it's like now you know what you want. Now you got your 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 focus. You know, it's like you're you're honed in on what you want to do. So you're ready to take action. You're ready to take off. You're ready to come out of that incubation, you know, um, state and go after what you want. I'm getting passion. I'm getting dreams, like chasing after your dreams. I feel this is also making you very attractive. So how someone feels about you, we got the forgiveness card. So someone wants your forgiveness, maybe seeking your forgiveness. You may know this intuitively. We got six and one. So that breaks down to um, seven. And I get this was a deceptive person. That's why someone wants your forgiveness because they deceived you. But now, you know, in hindsight, they were deceiving themselves. You know, they were deceiving themselves because they didn't realize who they were dealing with. They didn't realize you were a real one. And now they see that they have not even like they, they haven't shaken you at all. You're unbothered, you're guarded, you're protecting your energy and your peace. That's like currency to you. Your time and your energy is like currency. And you're not just divvying it out to anyone. Just like you wouldn't just be giving money away. You're not giving your energy or your time to anyone if it doesn't warrant such. Like if it's not making you, if it don't make no dollars and cents, then it's just like, bye, bye. Like you're on that type of time right now. And someone is desperately seeking your forgiveness because they got to feel the sting of the Scorpio. When Scorpios love, everybody knows when Scorpios love, they love hard. When Scorpios get to the point where they don't need to, you like, they, they already good with you being out of their life. I'm telling you that that disappearing act can be cold. It's like you never existed. It's like you never were. It's like, and, and that shit feel it's hard. It's hard to go through that because people be feeling like, did you ever love me? <laughs> that's how that's it's like it's powerful when the Scorpio is like they fall back game is very, very strong. 
So once you show a Scorpio that you are not going to protect them, that you don't value them, that you don't love them the way they deserve to be loved, and they start dishing back to you what you dish to them, people can't take what they dish. They can't take it. And we have right now bad habits. So someone was dealing with some bad habits. And that's why the forgiveness is here. Because someone very well could have been tempted. Because this seven in another card, it's deception. So someone was being deceitful. Someone was lying. Remember, we saw the tower energy with that 16. And so that was telling me that someone was definitely creeping and sleeping. It was an ending. Something ended. And now someone is left here feeling, you know, what I feel is foolish. They're trying to find and, and regain some sort of balance, some sort of harmony in their lives. But they're desperately seeking your forgiveness. And I feel like, as I said earlier, forgiveness is always for you. You could always forgive someone. That has nothing to do with taking someone back. Apologies now. The, that's something that you have to sit and see. Is it real? You know what I'm saying? Because people could fake all day like they're sorry. Even fake tears. I've seen the most. Like people be doing the crocodile tears, singing, you know, like violent, like it, it be real out here when people are trying to be manipulative and, and, you know, trying to stonewall and gaslight and do shit just to get what they want. People will stop at nothing. And that's why I said, use your intuition. You're highly intuitive. So use it. I'm not saying you got to accept an apology, but you could always forgive. You could forgive someone without even having to speak to that person. You know, some of y'all had to accept apologies you never received. And that's why you were able to free yourself. And that's why your, your fallback game is so intense because you didn't require somebody to sit in your face and play with you for you to move on. You didn't need closure. People be talking all that. I need closure. No, you don't. You close the door yourself. You don't need somebody to tell you X, Y, and Z to, in order to get past something. That's, that's a farce. You tell you what you need to do to move forward. And we got bad habits. That was a bad habit. Somebody was sitting here, you know, who had some habits that you may not have known about. And habits can become, it's habitual. So maybe someone had a sexual, you know, habit, a drug habit, a drinking habit. You know, habits can be like addictive behavior. And so that's why someone is seeking your forgiveness because maybe now there's some remorse. And I feel you may have moved on because I get guarded. I get, I'm getting the seven of wands with this 37 and 96 because that breaks down to seven. I'm getting the seven of wands like you're guarded. You're protecting your peace, your happiness. You're protecting your energy. You're not with the ishts. What we have here is financial discipline. So you also are building your brand, building your business, taking care of your BI. This is you focused on whatever skill because we had the same three. This 12, this is a 48, 12 that breaks down to three. So some of y'all are focusing on other ways that you can, you know, kind of, you know, you know, gain some more financial stability or gain more monetary, um, you know, monetary leeway in a situation. Maybe you're looking to, you know, change careers or change jobs, or you're looking to step into another arena Maybe you're looking for a second or third stream of income. Maybe you're mastering a craft. This is always giving me like the three of pentacles, but it's also very collaborative. So you could be coming together with someone forming like Voltron and working together to build something, to build something lucrative. That three is the empress energy. That three is the, you know, the solar plexus. So in this time around, you're like trusting your gumption. You're not making decisions unless it sits right and feels right in your spirit. So with the seven and this three, that's 10. So I feel like there is a windfall. I feel like there's some sort of stability or blessing or something that was blocked and delayed because of a karmic situation or because you were in a stagnant space that, and you needed some clarity or you didn't have you know, the facts or the truths, or maybe there was some sort of tower that was falling. I feel now, you know, every ending denotes a new beginning and this is 10. So this breaks down to one yet again. And I feel whatever you're, whoever you're attracting to you, how you feel, how they feel about you is they, they want stability. They see you as stable. I see someone may want to work things out. Someone may even want to apologize. I'm hearing a fresh start. 
And for many of you, you're not on that type of time because it's the past and you're not accepting calls from anyone from your past. You want to leave the past in the past. We got the number two, patience. So what's hidden is we have patience. So I'm hearing be patient, young grasshopper, because many of you are growing impatient because you've been on this journey for quite some time. I feel like a lot of y'all been on this journey for the past 10 years. It could be nine years for some of you. Some of you, it's been 20 because some of you had to repeat a cycle because you didn't learn the first time. And that's okay as long as you learn. But I feel like also you all are very, very you know, spiritual beings, you have divine knowledge and wisdom, wise dome. And this is because of the actions, because of the experience that you have come through and grown through in the past. And as I said earlier, you have to trust your intuition moving forward. That is what you are. In that's what you are more susceptible to doing opposed to just listening to people's empty words. What we have playing right now is Marvin Gaye. Come live with me, angel. And if you remember this, this background right here, that's from good times. And remember, we just had Cheryl Lynn singing something about good times. So I feel like spirit is telling you to trust your intuition. Be patient because what's coming towards you is being spiritually aligned. I feel like there's going to be some energy that's going to be very spontaneous. It's going to be some energy that's going to just bring out the, the youth in you, the youthfulness in you. And I feel like it's about good things take time to create. I also feel like, you know, this could be someone that could be like matching your fly and your vibration because I see that you've done a lot of healing and a lot of work on yourself. And this two is also giving me like the two of cups. So I feel like this is another person that is really focused on honing, you know, healing, pardon me, healing themselves, you know, at a soul level, healing from past pains, wounds, traumas, past life traumas, childhood traumas, familial traumas. And now they feel whole. And because they're whole, they now have something to offer you. Because love is an inside job. When you love yourself, then you can now love others effectively. And that's why it required time. It required patience. Because good things take time to create. And patience is a form of action, which means that you have been very proactive as well as this person that's coming in. They too have been very proactive in working on themselves. Like come live with me. Angel speaks to you having some sort of partnership. And the two is saying that the two of you have a lot in common. There could be a lot of chemistry, synergy, love, commonalities. You could have experienced similar life lessons. You may have a similar path or passion. But the high priestess is very, very intuitive. And this is what's hidden. And the high priestess is, you know, she deals with what's hidden. She deals with, you know, occult knowledge, ancient knowledge. So you could be a spiritualist yourself, someone who's very psychic or someone who's, you know, um, has some sort of spiritual background or you have some sort of spiritual business, you may provide services to others, whether it be psychic readings or Akashic readings or teacup readings or whatever this is, I'm getting a sense like you, you're very tapped in and tuned in. Maybe you just can speak energy. Maybe you could sense something coming, something big. A lot of people can feel when something major is about to take place. It's a feeling, it's a sensation. And you're picking up on that frequency. You're tuned into a channel. What we have is physical activity. So what did I say about proactive? Like someone is being very proactive. This 67 is another 13. And that 13 breaks down to four. So someone could be coming in that's in a masculine energy that could be coming in to kind of show and prove. You know, kind of proving what I said, like, you know, maybe they're going to take action. They're going to be expressive. They're going to, you know, um, be attentive, affectionate. They're going to court you. They're going to take the time to get to know you. They're going to be very active in their approach. The 67 is 13 and 13 is the depth. So maybe someone has transformed into this person or emerged into this new person that's going to take more action and not just kind of sit on their hands. Maybe this is someone who is more reserved. 
but someone is definitely going to um, express love because the 67 breaks down to four, which deals with the heart chakra. And with come live with me, someone may confess that they want to take things to the next level. You know, eventually this is someone that you may cohabitate with. You may move in together, you know. So that's powerful. Remember, we still had the three creativity on the bottom of the deck. So let's tap in and see what additional messages you have, beloved. I'm going to get some messages from, let's get some from Goddess Guidance. Let's see what Goddess Guidance has to say. So we got the inner wisdom. So that's powerful. And there's a beautiful owl, owl, um, animal totem here, which always represents wise dome. And that wise dome, we are about to clarify this 37 time out. And that time out is saying, you know, you may have sat and meditated, contemplated. You know, you have gone within, because remember I was speaking of the nine, the hermit energy, and how you knew to go within to seek wise counsel. Well, you get to the 10, and the 10 is also speaking to your ability to, um, you know, to master manifest what you want because that 10 reduces to one which is associated with the emperor. I mean, with the magician, pardon. And that magician co-creates with source. That magician utilizes the elements around them to manifest, to call in, to draw in what they want. Your inner wisdom is what's leading to this fresh start, this new beginning. And it says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. And what did I say? When you got a fresh start, that's because you took the necessary steps to end some sort of silical situation. It was a cycle. And we got fairness. This is the justice card. Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. So as I said, you know, your good karma, your good deeds doesn't go unnoticed. And I feel like spirit and Mama Ma'at and your angels are saying everything is going to hand, be handled fairly and justly. That's why the wheel is turning because the 10th card is the wheel of fortune. So whatever was delaying, blocking, or keeping you stuck and stagnant or feeling anchored, it's now being removed because Mama Ma'at is turning that wheel for you. This is you getting your just due. This is something being justified. It says the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. And this is also inner wisdom. So that's why spirit is encouraging you. Always go with your gumption. Always go with your intuition. And that's exactly what you did. And you went with your intuition, which is why you have this fresh start, which is why you have a brand new beginning. And we have Nas replace me here. And this is um, featuring Don Tolliver and Big Sean. Someone's name could be Don Tolliver, Nas. Someone could be from Queens or Cali. So this is about replace me. So you, you're definitely, you felt like I feel almost like rejected or some sort of unrequited love with replace me. So you felt like someone was trying to replace you because 37 is time out. That's why you took a time out to, to pause, to reevaluate a situation or even to observe. Because as I said earlier, the nine, before you get to the, the 10th card, you have the nine and the nine is the highest number of change. So something within a situation changed or transformed, which led to you going within to seek for answers. Because there was a situation that made you feel devalued or unappreciated or like, as I said, an unrequited circumstance. And so that time out gave you the opportunity to see things as they were. So you took internal self audits. You know, you took accountability, responsibility, but you also gained a deeper understanding, a more profound understanding of the overall situation and also of yourself, which is why you're now, you know, seeking a fresh start after this time out to reflect, to introspect. This is powerful. And we got sensitivity on the bottom of the deck. You became more sensitive to the toxic relationships or toxicity. You know, you became more sensitive to even negative energy. To, to Like I said, like you, when you speak energy, when you are an, uh, an empath, as most water signs, Scorpios, um, you could feel energy. Person doesn't have to say anything. You could just feel what their intentions are for you. I have that problem like crazy. Like I could feel a mofo is full of ish before they even open their mouth, you know, and I could feel good energy when I'm in a room as well. And that's usually... I'll gravitate to those type of individuals and they'll gravitate towards me. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you have to 
trust your in, in, in inner wisdom, your inner gumption. And that always use your spiritual GPS to get you to, you know, that destination that you're going, which is always a forward movement. You're not looking for anybody to cling on to you and bring you down and be an energy vampire and leech off of you. You're looking for people that's going to pour into you and you pour into them. Hence, you know, the, the equal give and take, you know, having that equal exchange of give and take. We got Sade, nothing can come between us. So I feel like whatever you're attracting to you or whomever, whatever this is that someone could have been trying to block or delay, you know what I'm saying? Because this is the wheel of fortune energy, the number 37. It's like nothing's going to come between you and what spirit has assigned you, what your angels, your guides have assigned for you. Whatever blessings, they're still going to pour in. Whatever wish fulfillment is still going to be provided. Your answers, or your prayers are still going to be answered. Whatever someone was trying to do to block to hinder you, nothing's going to come between you and it. Someone can be from Africa, Britain. We have sensitivity. So you are very sensitive to energy. You speak energy. I feel like you're more so really, you know, excited about a fresh start. You're more daring now. You're more spontaneous where in the past you could have been with somebody who was kind of like dimming your light and made you second guess yourself you could have been insecure in a relationship and now you're just like a free spirit i love this so divine spirit i'm hearing nothing could come between you and your happiness between you and your dreams you and your passions you and new love so these cards have chosen themselves and i'm going to take those so we have on the bottom of the deck see that you're getting your just do all of that shuffling and we still got this mama my aunt energy and my mama aunt has everyone's address. Some of you may be taking a trip to um, ancient Kemet. Some of you all may, you know, wake up and you may recite the um, 42 laws of um, the 42 laws of my aunt. You may be reciting those or maybe you're. Um, I just get a sense of like, you know, something new, like maybe you're traveling, maybe you've been to ancient Kemet and maybe that's something you want to do. But I absolutely feel like there's going to be justice in the situation. If you've been waiting for some sort of, um, if you've been waiting for some sort of, um, judgment or something, I feel it's going to rule in your favor. It's going to, it's going to work itself out. Maybe you had to take some time out to try to work out the kinks and maybe you have, you know, sent paperwork in and you wasn't sure if it was going to rule in your favor. But I feel like with Mama uh, Ma'at, she's saying everything is going to be fair and just for you. What we have is purification and this is uh conventina and it says it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. And so that's what this is, purging, releasing, that timeout gives you an opportunity to, you know, assess things, to see what you need to get rid of. Purification is a cleansing. It's a cleansing, especially like a spiritual bath I get. And I was picking up like your health as well. Like if some of y'all had like bad eating habits or bad, you know, like addictions, like some people, as I said, they could have habits of like, you know, a sexual habit, a drinking habit, or, you know, habits become addictions. And so I feel like maybe this is an opportunity for you to cleanse and purify yourself, to release yourself from things that doesn't serve you, but also detoxifying your body to get rid of parasites and metals. Because every day we're breathing in toxins because they're always up there. If you take a moment to stop looking at your phones and look up, you'll see them flying these planes, which are dumping poisonous, you know, um, chemicals, into the atmosphere, you know, so purifying yourself, cleansing, purging, maybe you're doing some sort of, you know, um, fast, maybe fasting will be helpful, even if it's for one week, even if it's for three days, even if for seven days, that's a good way to reset, recharge, recalibrate your body. But I feel like spirit is saying it's time for a cleansing. It's time to purge to get rid of the old. So it's time to like, to cleanse your body, to purify your body. As I said, I'm just hearing parasites and this could be an internal thing, or this can be even external, like getting rid of the, the negative Nancy's, the Debbie Downers, the lion ass Larry's that may be around you. This is getting rid of those type of people, the people that cling on. Cause I was getting earlier people like riding your coattail, 
people that really don't want to see you succeed, but they know that you're on your way up. So they just try to hold on because they want to, you know, they want to get a piece of the action. But spirit is saying it's time to free yourself from that. And this bird here looks like, you know, like a phoenix to me also with those wings. It's powerful, but it's time to purge. So the next card we have, we have, I love this feeling by Nas. You're going to love your, you're going to love the feeling of being free from what was binding you and keeping you stuck and stagnant. You're never going to, you've never felt this free because I feel like someone was just whole, like, ugh, I just get, I see these dark nails. You know how demons and the devil got like those dark black nails, like, and I don't, ugh, and I just see that like somebody just trying to cling themselves onto another person. I'm seeing that in my mind's eye. When you forgive someone, you get rewarded. Because you got Mama Lakshmi here saying that you have a bright future ahead of you. And what did I just say about someone sees that you're on your way up? And that's why they're trying to cling on to you. And I kept seeing these nails clinging and someone trying to ride your coattail. Someone wants your forgiveness because they're seeing you in the light that they never saw you in before. And it's since you got rid of them. So that was a part of why you're having this, this um, abundance. We got two elephants and with their trunks up, whenever you see that, that means prosperity. And it's telling you, stop worrying. Everything is going to be just fine. So spirit is assuring you. Remember what I was talking about, walking in faith and not by sight? Because right now things may seem very, very difficult. You may feel like everything is getting blocked. But in a moment, you're going to be like, damn, I love this feeling. Because you're going to be in a moment of feeling very successful, very abundant. You're going to feel like your wishes, your dreams have come true. Mama Lakshmi is assuring you that you have a bright future. And she's telling you, don't worry. Worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So never worry. Forgiveness is always for you. Learn from the situation, move on. Forgive the person that hurt you. Forgive the situation. Forgive the people at the job that was sitting around gossiping and trying to block your blessings and keep it moving. Because like I said, they can't block what spirit has assigned you. They can't block what spirit has prepared for you they can't do nothing unless you give them the power that's why i said your will is yours that's your power if you submit your will to some employer at you know walmart that's your manager and you believe everything they say and you think they control your life then guess what you're going to be stuck there but if you are someone who knows like i am the sole controller of my universe and i'm going to get this this and that then that's what you're going to attract to you never submit your will never go to nobody looking for the answers you could get confirmations yes you could check 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 that's it but you don't go to somebody acting like they got some power to put you in a position you're the sole controller of your your destiny beloveds and everything is working out fairly and justly because you have planted seeds in good faith so let's see how does this person or whatever Scorpio is attracting to them feel about Scorpio? Why is this 48 financial discipline here? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is 48 financial discipline here for how this person or what Scorpio is attracting to them feel about them? So this card got stuck and it's stuck in my hand. So this is your message and we have the arts. So some of you all, as I said, you're mastering your craft. Some of you are in the arts. Maybe you are artistic. Maybe you are creative. Remember, we had that three creativity card. And creativity is, you know, something that is each of our, you know, divinity. To tap into that creativity could mean some of you all could be musicians. You may play the guitar you may play the piano, the violin, the bass, saxophone, the flute. You know what I'm talking about? Like you may be someone who is an artist, a singer. You may draw, you may color, you may do graphic arts, you may do animation. I definitely feel like it says express yourself through creative activities. So that could be something that you're honing because I was picking up the fact that some of you all could be like honing some sort of skill, gift, or talent, mastering it. And there's a collaborative effort. I also feel like by you doing what you love, you will also attract love. By you doing what you love, it opens your heart to forgiveness. It opens your heart to a whole new world. But this is a beautiful energy of living in your truth now, following your dreams. As I said, following your passions, not falling, um, you know, not backing down from things that you may have put on the back burner. Uh, because you may have had some negative folks around you telling you that, you know, your dreams weren't, um, 
weren't, uh, I don't want to say valuable, but they weren't valid, if you will. But we have here receptivity. So what's hidden in the energy, you're going to have someone that's very receptive to whatever it is that you are feeling and vice versa. Spirit is saying, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So when you are closed off, blocked off, and guarded, then you are not receptive. So spirit is saying, you're going to have somebody that's coming in that's going to match your fly. This is yin yang. This is balance. And this is more importantly, an energy of harmony. And that's why it took patience because, as I said earlier, good things take time to create. This is giving me the two of cups where you are now whole. And when you're whole, you're going to attract someone as you are. And we have receptivity. So be open to this, beloved. Be open. Divine Spirit, why is this two patience card here for what's hidden for my beloved Scorpios? And we have right now playing on the playlist DMX, Skyscrapers, Rising Power to Dark Man X, DMX. So some of you all could be from Yonkers, but some of you all also, you know, you, you've had a very dark past. And I feel like now you could see your way clear. When you think of a skyscraper, it's very high up. So I feel almost like, you know, most skyscrapers a lot of times, especially in New York, like they're so high up that sometimes the clouds, you know, can kind of, um, you know, the clouds could loom. But I'm getting a sense of like you're coming out of a period of confusion. You're coming out of that period and I feel there's a decision and, and a skyscraper being it high, I'm just getting like bird's eye view, you know, and this is featuring Bono and Bono is, um, is it from, uh, is that, um, E, is it E2? U2, I said E2. <laughs> I'm, I'm confusing it because DMX's name is Earl Simmons. So I'm saying E2, but it's U2. Someone's name could be E or Earl I don't know why I see E2. Maybe someone lives in apartment E2 in New York because I'm thinking skyscrapers, that's New York or another big city like Chicago, like, you know, um, Boston, maybe somewhere in uh, Cali. I'm getting E2. Maybe that's somebody's um, apartment number. But with um, U2, Bono's from U2. And I'm hearing his song. And I still haven't found what i'm looking for i'm hearing that song so somebody's been looking you know and that's what spirit is saying look patience patience young grasshopper so that's like looking at a bird's eye view like i feel like spirit is saying you're gonna have a decision and you need to take the leap take a leap of faith trust your intuition which i think you will because this number two is associated with the high priestess why is this number two patience here for what's hidden for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit Someone's name could also be Earl or Simmons, first, middle, or last. Someone could be from the UK. I believe you two is from the UK, right? And we have start delegating. So this time around, that's what you're going to do. You're going to make sure to ask for what you need because in the past, I feel like you bit your tongue. I feel like you appeased and pleased. You didn't necessarily, you know, hold other people accountable. It's almost like you just kind of appease the please, you're overcompensated. And now this time around, you're going to ask for what you need. And spirit is saying, ask others, including me to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So, you know, there could be some sort of decisions, you know, in the past that you had to make, but you had to rely only on your own, um, you know, your own judgment because you may have not trusted other people or, you know, maybe you didn't feel, like you could really depend on others, rely on others. But I feel this time around, Spirit is saying, ask for what you need. Closed mouths don't get fed. Even ask Green Tara. So maybe some of you all are being encouraged to connect with this beautiful divine energy, Green Tara. If you are feeling, you know, overwhelmed or overburdened, because I was picking up like a lot of you are walking in faith and not by sight because things could be really difficult right now financially. You know, money is just like, it, it's like the cost of living right now is ridiculous, especially if you're single, you know? And so spirit is saying like, you know, Green Tara is asking, you know, ask for, you know, connect with Green Tara, maybe get a green candle I'm seeing and, and, and really connect with Green Tara's energy, put it on your altar, maybe find a picture, find out what type of um, food she likes, what type of things that she connects with so that you could build that connection. 
and start working with that green Tara energy. Start working with all of this energy. You got Lakshmi here. She brings in abundance, prosperity, wealth. You have Con Coventina. You know, so take spiritual baths, egg cleanse, garlic cleanse, purify yourself, take salt baths. Like you could literally Palo Santo yourself, like do things to cleanse and purge your energy. Connect with Sarasvati when it comes to your artistic skills. So maybe if you've had some sort of block, maybe you are a writer and you've just had writer's block, or maybe you're an entertainer, a singer, and you, you can't necessarily get the words right. Maybe you're an artist and you play instruments and you just, you seem to have some sort of creative block. Work with these energies and that can definitely open up, you know, the pathway. We have Right on Time featuring Darian Brockington. And like I said, good things take time to create, but you know, good things are happening right on time. I feel someone is going to take action and it's going to be right on time. And we have focused intentions. So someone's ready to shoot their shot. I definitely feel like, and, and look what it says, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will hit your mark. And with this song is saying, you will hit your mark right on time. So don't give up, you know, that's what I'm getting from this. Don't give up. Things are going to be very stable. Things are going to be very successful for you, but don't give up. You know, that's what the devil tries to do. The devil is a trickster. He's a manipulator. He's a conniver. He plots and plans and schemes and scams and tries to convince you that you're not good enough or that something's not going to work or something's not going to happen. We have undying love here on the bottom of the deck. We got 45 billion cards. I'm not taking the cards that fell out down, but I am going to expound on the ones that are upright. And you will be amazed at the ones that are upright. First, first card we I see is prosperity. So you are absolutely coming into a time of receiving. As I said, the souls you've seen in the past, in good faith, will harvest. They will prosper, and this is what you have. Or they will become fruitful, and this is what you have. And it's happening right on time. You may not see this or feel this. That's why Spirit was telling you, just be tr patient, young grasshopper. Like, trust the process. We also have past life. So whomever or whatever you're attracting to you, this is something that involves a past life situation, whether this be another person, this could be a divine masculine because that 67 breaks down to 13. That's four. So after the demise, the, you know, the ending of a, one situation, it's like the birthing of something new where you're going to attract your divine masculine or someone that's on your frequency, a, a counterpart, a, a, a sacred connection, a soulmate connection. But this is going to feel very much very familiar. So that's why I was picking up simili uh, uh, I was picking up synergy, commonality, chemistry, familiarity, someone that's going to have very... A similar, um, you know, background than you, of, um, as you. We also have bodies of water. So water is coming out a lot. I feel like spirit is telling you, go to the beach, go to a lake, go to a river and just purge. You know, that's your energy. You know, maybe perform like a Mama Yemenya ritual, Mama Oshun ritual. It's good for releasing, you know. And this is a very powerful energy right now, especially with the new moon, to start, you know, purging yourself and getting rid of things. You know, even to call in things, draw in what you want. But purification, I feel like Spirit is saying that this time next to water, near water, be it a lake, a river, or ocean, a pond, um, it is very purifying, very rejuvenating for your spirit. And this will also kind of recharge and recalibrate your, sp your energy. It rejuvenates you. So you have this purification here. I also feel is strongly indicating a need to um, do like a spiritual bath. Because it keeps taking, it keeps circling me back, right back to spiritual baths. And we got um, special ed. I got it made. So a lot of you are going to have it made. A lot of you are going to be so abundant and so prosperous and so successful that you're going to have it made. You're going to feel like everything is right. You know, everything in your life is right where... Um, you have imagined or envisioned it to be, you know, your health is going to be on point as long as you start focusing on ways to start, you know, becoming more healthy, you know, implementing a more healthy, live it, um, exercising more, getting rid of bad habits and replacing them with good habits. Um, cause we did have that song by Maxwell, bad habits. Um, but with, I got it made, I feel like you're going to feel very special. I feel someone's also going to feel you're very special and they're going to want to pour into you. We also have unconditional love. So you're going to have someone that's going to love you unconditionally. 
And when you love yourself, you exude that love, that self-love, and that makes you more attractive and others are going to be more loving towards you. And then we have go outside. So if you've been holed up, I don't care how hot you may say it is, spirit is encouraging you to go outside in nature because that is always very good to recalibrate and reset you know, your energy to purge, you could release, you could ground yourself in outside. You may bump across some beautiful animal totems. You may have some powerful downloads. Amazing things take place outside, outdoors. So I always encourage, you know, my beloveds to go outside and, um, you know, just connect with Mother Gaia, Daughter Earth. So let's get some messages from the African Tarot and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that, one, the Ace of Wands, baby. New beginnings, new things that go on. So we have this energy right here. When you get rid of the old, when you cleanse yourself of the old, even your old belief systems, habits, behaviors, you have this fresh start. This is 37, which is one. Then you got this Ace of Wands. That's another one. So it's double confirmations. We started the reading with one. And I told you, you have a fresh start, something amazing that's going to take place in this new chapter of your lives. This is really just a very profound, you know, <laughs> um, you know, confirmation that something beautiful is coming in. You may have to make some decisions. You might feel a little frustrated. That's why spirit is saying, take time, you know, to get rid of, you know, any, any, um, anxieties, you know, any anticipatory anxieties, anything potentially confusing you because you have the answers. Whatever doesn't sit right, feel right in your spirit, you have the right to release it, to purge it, to get rid of it. That's why spirit is giving you the time out to assess your situation, to look back in awareness and to do that introspective and reflective work. Because that is a way for you to assess and to self-discover what's not working for you. And then you make the right decisions. So if you're overwhelmed, overburdened, if you're juggling a lot, spirit is giving you that time to, you know, assess things so that you can, you know, make the necessary changes. Because as I said, nine is the highest number of change and 10 is the ending. So something has to end in order for something new to begin. And that's just simple as it is. And look at this Knight of Pentacles. See that spirit wants to reward you. Spirit wants to shower you with that of what it is you've been asking for, calling in and drawing in. And we got the three of pentacles. Look at that. See that? You've been ready to shoot your shot. I feel you also have a secret admirer. I feel someone is watching you from a distance. So if I say the peace, power, and protection, why is this 37 time out? I feel like that's why someone is potentially watching you because you've been like kind of like, you know, very guarded as I was getting earlier. You know, very focused on your energy and healing and growing and improving and mastering your craft and, you know, just becoming a greater version of yourself. That is your priority right now. And so, you know, other people have, have had no choice but to kind of watch from a distance, you know, because you've been very busy. And as I said, protective of your energy. It's like currency to you. So we have the King of Wands. So someone is ready to take action. You could have taken a time out and maybe there was a king of wands that was responsible for this time out and this purge that you needed to do. Yep, it looks like it. So we got this three of swords. So there was definitely a painful ending. I'm hearing deception, lies, trickery. You know, maybe someone had a wandering eye. And this ace of wands and spirit is saying this person was blind to the facts of who you are. We got blind man. And this is someone, um, this is Xavier Omar. So someone's name could be Xavier and I'm getting X, like this was your X, so that karmic. So this was someone who was blind, blind to who you are. That's why they want your forgiveness, because now they're seeing you, you know, rising like the phoenix from the, ash, the ashes, and you have all the success and abundance. You have bright future. You have abundantia. You also have uh, Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. So this person could be witnessing your transformation, your emergence, and they are your fresh start. And this is making them feel a little uncomfortable. So let's tap in, beloveds. See what we got coming in, going out, going on. And what he, this person says in this song is, You're so beautiful, girl, a blind man can love you. 
And so now this person is starting to wake up, which is why they are seeking your forgiveness because maybe they didn't see you in the past. They didn't see your worth. They didn't see your value. They didn't honor. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't pour into you. They poured into everything but you. And that was also your wake up call to start loving you. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the queen of wands. Someone could have been distracted by a queen of wands. We got 37 time out. And then we have this Coventina purification. This is always like a mistress energy to me. This is someone that's obviously um, very much aware of you. Very much aware that you are, that you exist, that you're around. Um, someone has their eye on you. And I feel this is the person that whomever your person got distracted by. You know, this is definitely whoever they were dealing with. They may have discovered or found out about you. But I'm also feeling if that's not the situation or the case, this is just how this person sees you now as someone very attractive. Some You can be younger, um, but you're definitely a master manifester, a go-getter. You're someone in the occult. You're someone highly inten uh, you know, intentional, intuitive, Um and you have transformed, you've changed. I see like you've shed a lot of, um, a sh you've shed a lot of like the negativity, you know, whether it be people, whether it was, as I said earlier, be belief systems. It's like, I just see a cleanse, a purge because we got this, this snake here and snakes always indicate like some sort of shedding, you know, it, it, it's changing. You know, when a, a snake grows, it sheds its skin. So it, it it's like that's another form of like purifying and growing. And, you know, so this is what I'm seeing is like that could be what you have done. But I also get a sense of like a mistress. And that's why spirit was telling me earlier. I kept hearing spiritual baths because someone could feel threatened. And with this song now we got serious. It's called Serious Interlude Nas. And this is from the, um, what album is this? King's Disease. Yeah, so someone with King's Disease, you know, it's just like you were dealing with someone I'm feeling. I heard the word pompous, you know, and the King of Wands just showed up. And then we got the King of, of um, the Queen of Wands. So that's a suit. So maybe you were dealing with someone in your past that you didn't know still had some sort of soul tie or attachments, or maybe they were married, or maybe they were, you know, living with another person like domestic, a, a domestic situation. And someone may have found out about you, which is why I'm getting a sense of like, you know, th this is a serious matter. Why, which may call for some sort of spiritual baths or some sort of spiritual consultation we have on the bottom of the deck with a seven of wands. And so this is what you're doing now. You're very guarded, very protective. I want to get an additional message for this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Maybe this is how this person sees you. Maybe this is how you reemerge looking younger because you've started focusing on, you know, your health and wellness. You done lost some waste. You know what I'm saying? You got yourself together. What we see, um, what we have now is the Eight of Cups. So I am getting a sense of like you walked away from something that wasn't serving you. You turned your back on a situation because you was pouring into it. That's exactly what I was getting. So you was pouring into someone that wasn't, you know, reciprocating. You know, it was almost like you was giving, 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 and it was never any reciprocity. And so you finally learned to love yourself and you purged yourself of that situation. And the reason why this person couldn't pour into you is because they could have been attached to this queen of wands. And so you've moved on, you know, because I'm getting like you've moved on and you're finding... You know, you're finding that self-love is the best love. And I feel like you're more so like even, you know, standing up for yourself, advocating for yourself. I feel like others are inspired by you. Maybe you have a platform where you disseminate information or you communicate or you inspire others. And this person is like tuning in as well. So if this is someone that you used to deal with, because this is a very, uh, this doesn't apply to everyone. I'm getting a very unique situation where someone could have been dealing with someone that they didn't know was married. And then that, that wife, that ex-wife or that ex-husband found out. And now they're like on this rampage and they're like stalking someone's life. So this person, if you have a website or if you have your own platform, this person is watching. This person is watching. And I feel like they're watching because their person is still watching you. So like someone has not gotten over you and we have right now the moments I could have loved you. 
So this is perhaps someone from your past that realized that they didn't show you the love you deserve. Now they're realizing because you done went through some major transformation or startling metamorphosis, how much they love you. Their person done found out that you, they still have these feelings. And now there's this whole thing. What we have is the chariot. So what you're attracting to you is rushing in. And this is in regards to some sort of success or blessing. This is saying a bright future. This person could even be trying to escape some sort of rocky situation. Because I see this person like, you know, escaping this tornado. So this could be, you know, a situation that was very hostile. And now they're seeing just how beautiful and radiant and loving you are. And that's why they're seeking forgiveness from you because maybe they, you know, this, and this does not necessarily have to be, um, and, and this is for a select few, because I'm getting a couple of different scenarios. That was the one scenario where I felt like someone was with someone that they didn't realize was still married or has some sort of domestic situation where they may have lived with the person and they were kind of doing a little separation. And then that's probably when you bumped into them and, you know, Things didn't really take off. They got back with that person, but they couldn't stop thinking of you. And now their person that they were with is realizing that their heart is elsewhere. They're still with you. Another situation is you may have, you know, someone who could be an ex who may really have these feelings of remorse because they're starting to realize that they fumbled, you know, they fumbled your heart. They fumbled the situation because whatever they left you for, or whatever they thought was better, grass was greener on the other side. They realized it was plastic and now they want to come back. Someone is coming in very assertively, but I also feel this is just saying simply that you have a lot of victories. You have breakthroughs, you have success coming in for you. I also feel like someone is realizing that they could have loved you better than they did and they did it. And that's why they're heavy. You know, they have a heavy heart and they're also have heavy regrets, the deep regrets with moments. This is called the moments. I feel this person reminisces or thinks a lot about, you know, some moments um, from the past, maybe reminiscing, you know, nostalgia. But I do feel communications coming because she's wielding like a sword. And this is someone that may feel like y'all got a very dope connection. This 96 breaks down to 15. So this is someone that was, you know, I feel like a devil. You know, there was a devil that you was dealing with. I feel like you was dealing with someone who was definitely confused or very manipulative. And I feel like you asserting yourself because I feel this is you moving forward, moving upward, moving, moving onward. And you're, you know, ex you're receiving or experiencing some sort of success in your life. This person now may be just trying to um, you know, kind of trying to distract you with some sort of apology. And remember what I said about apologies, change behavior is the highest form of an apology. If you see someone's behavior has changed, that's a strong indication that they've grown up or have matured or have taken accountability. But if someone's just coming back saying, I'm sorry, and then they're still doing the same manipulative conniving ish, ain't no sorry. They're not sorry. That doesn't mean you don't forgive them though, because people know not what they do. So let's tap in. Why is this 96 forgiveness and Lakshmi bright future here? And we have the hermit. I spoke to the hermit and look what we have. The five of pentacles. See that this is that person that abandoned you, left you for dead, left you for this younger person. And when you started to focus on self-love because you knew that was the best love and self-discipline and self-respect and self-worth and self-value, that's when this, you pulled yourself out of a situation and walked your pure, your beautiful ass away. And now you have this bright future because you showed self-love. You're not sitting there bound and stuck and living in some sort of illusion. But whoever this person is now, they're realizing that they done upped around and fell in love with for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see clearly somebody's trying to help this person up. They done upped around and fell in love. They didn't realize it. And with this nine, the hermit, you see how he's like looking at the light. The light always represents the truth. And they see you now as the truth. You're spiritually strong, highly creative, very artistic, very gifted. And this is someone that you will have offers because you are exuding this energy of a divine feminine or a divine masculine. We have Tony, 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 slow wine. And so this is someone who could be possibly named Tony, someone who could reside in the West Coast, LA, California. But with slow wine, I feel like you are attracting people that want to take it nice and slow. I also feel like 
you respect, you know, you respect people to take it slow. You want to get to know someone. You want to get to know, you know, the authentic them and not the representative them. You want to take the time to get to know their likes, their interests, what they don't like, you know, favorite colors. Like you want to know their background. You want to know who they are as a person because you've taken enough time to get to know who you are. But this is someone who is very wise. So you like to go deep, Scorpios. You don't want no surface level ish. That's not what you're interested in. And maybe in the past, that's what you was attached to. Someone who is very vain, you know, someone who is very, you know, just a, I get a vain person, someone very shallow, someone who is just all about a pretty face, fat ass, or someone who is handsome with a nice car, but not someone who really cared about the heart, not someone who really cared about, you know, the soul of a person, the mind of a person. You want to be stimulated in other ways, not just you know, sexually, you want to be stimulated mentally, you want to be stimulated emotionally, you know, and I feel like whoever you attract, they're going to have some sort of background in music, you know, maybe this is someone you will meet at like a studio, if you, if you record music, if you play instruments, you may meet them at a music store, you may meet someone um, that's online, if you have your music streaming, you may meet someone that is, you know, a true uh, you know, like they appreciate your artistry, but this nine shows the, how wise you are and how someone sees you is very wise. Why is this 48 financial discipline in Sarasvati, the arts? I feel like you are going to have a lot of abundance and success um, and prosperity with whatever this is you're creating, whatever your creative gift. These cards are trying to fall out of my hand, so I'm going to take those. One flipped over. See that? So someone wants to be generous. This is how they see you. The empress is on the bottom of the deck. The Empress, divinely, divinely guided, spiritually strong, you know, you've reached the level of self-mastery, wise, a mother, a nurturer, very sexy. And someone wants to pour into you. We got the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to have a lot of people that are going to um, support you, support your dreams. I feel like there's abundance here. I feel like you will blow up. Like, you know, and then I'm not talking about like, you know, mainstream i feel like like you're gonna be one of those people where money's always going to be coming in you're going to be getting the views you're going to be getting you know the recognition for what you do you don't need to be signed to a major artist or a major label to be successful in the business if that's what you love if you're an artist you don't need to look for that because those are all predatory anyway you'll be signed to some it's talking about you gotta put out 15 albums and then you look at the labels and every artist that was on the nice, clean and arrow, you see them slowly decline into some dark, demonic ish. But this is you receiving like this is someone coming in to collaborate, someone coming in to support, someone pouring into you. This is beautiful. Next card you have is the world. I love it. This is the world card, beloved. So you definitely have some sort of, you know, I feel a lot of love, a lot of support, but also you're being recognized, like you've graduated. The world card is the last card of the major arcana, and that also breaks down to three. So that's that energy of self-mastery. You know, the empress and the emperor, they are the pinnacle of regalness and royalness. And I feel like that's why Green Tara, you know, is reminding you to delegate. You don't have to do everything alone. As an empress, as an emperor, you have worker bees to do that ish. Not only worker bees, but you have people that will support you this time around. Whereas in the past, people were taking. You had people that were opportunistic or people that were, you know, abusing, you know, you in a way because they took your kindness for weakness. And because you're so loving and because you're so kind and generous, you know, you weren't looking at it like, oh, they take an advantage. You was looking at it like, oh, let me help. And they were looking at you like this dumb mofo, you know, like you was just, you know, but meanwhile, you was just doing it from a pure place. But this time around, you don't have to worry about that. Spirit is telling you, you know, we know you could do it alone. We know you got this beloved, but we're going to send some folks that's going to help you. You know, now you can ask for help. Now, you know, you could put your pride to the side and you could ask for the help that you deserve for the help that you have, you know, that you will receive. Because maybe in the past, that's what you was dealing with. You would ask for the simplest things and they just somehow couldn't couldn't appease you. But they would ask the world of you. And so that's why you probably got into your bag like, I ain't asking a mofo for ish. 
And spirit is like, no, you don't have to do that this time around because you're going to have somebody that's going to want to pour into you, pour into you equally. And that's why it took time to get this right because spirit is aligning you with the right person. And it's because now you know your worth and value. You're going to be receiving all kinds of messages. Look at this. You're going to have secret admirers. You're going to have people just sending you messages if you do have an online presence. People are going to be sending you emails. They're going to be DMing you. They're going to be messaging you left and right. Just, you know, really trying to make the connection. The last card we have here is the seven of wands. So what did I say about that guardedness with the 67 physical act activity? Remember what I said, you got to be open in order to receive. And that's also what, you know, Mary Magdalene is reminding you of, because what she's saying here is love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter how the, um, what does it say? I'm trying to read it backwards. It says, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. So this is what they want you to do, regardless of how things may appear. You still got to walk in faith. You still got to walk with a knowingness that what you deserve, what you desire is yours already. And that's what I feel you're doing. So this guardedness that you are in right now, I feel like spirit is telling you it's time to like break free from that. Be open. You know, you can see here she's teaching others. So there's people watching you, people that are inspired by you, Scorpios. Whatever you do, even if you're teachers or counselors or self-help or coaches of some sort, you get you're you're you have a lot of people watching you, including haters. Because this person right here is a hater and your intuition is letting you know you got some haters watching. And those are the people that you're guarding your yourself and your energy from. But you do have some deception and some envy. And I feel like that's the past person that you broke free from, you know, because now they're going to see you coming into a whole bunch of, you know, um, wish fulfillments and opportunities. We have Molly music contradiction. So someone is definitely going to come back. And they're going to be, you know, speaking with a forked tongue. That's that devil energy, that number seven. Always give me like the seven deadly sins. That's why you're very protective. Remember, I was picking up on you being very guarded and you speak energy now. So you can see he's like blowing. <laughs> he's like, you know, sticking out his tongue at the devil. Like I see you like you, you, you toying with him because you know, this is someone that's contradicting themselves constantly, you know, um, you know, constantly trying to deceive and, de you know, deceive and deceive be a Decepticon. Let me get one more message for the seven of wands, but yeah, continue to protect your energy. I feel like, you know, there's definitely uh, abundance coming in. You do have to be open and receptive. You don't want to miss any opportunities. Why is the 67? Thank you, spirit. All right. And I got a card here. This is also turned. I'm going to take that. So what we have here is temperance. That was another confirmation of divine timing waiting. And this is why you have love this is the ace of cups here so you got the ace of wands that flew out now you have the ace of cups so new beginnings in love new fresh starts exciting starts you also have the five of wands so this is someone in competition that's why they're contradicting themselves when someone is lying they're gonna always contradict themselves because they don't know how to just be transparent because they're trying to get over they're trying to pull one over on you and you can see right through them hence you you know just like sticking your tongue out, like whatever, like you toying with them. You're not falling for the okie doke. And look, the empress flew out. I love it. That's why you know your worth and value. You're not playing. This is someone from the past. You got the six of cups here and you can see this person singing. So whomever is coming towards you, as I was picking up earlier, like this may be a past person that you knew, um, but it was never anything serious. And this is for some of you, um, but this person is doubling back because I feel like someone realizes, you know, just how they feel. Someone's realizing, um, you know, that they have these emotions. We got Mary J. Blige featuring little Kim. I can love you. So someone realizes they can love you right. And it's because look at you who can't love an empress. You know your worth and value. You're very powerful. You're a master manifester. You're very maternal. You're the matriarch. I definitely see you as someone who is very successful, very beautiful, and others are drawn to you, very wise. And you got a lot of people in competition with you, but who can compete with an empress? You got new love pouring in, new love coming in, and it's happening in divine timing because good things take time to create. You're not just accepting any old type of love. And whoever this person is that's in competition or whoever this person was that deceived and was a Decepticon in the past, I feel like now they're like, they're almost like vindictive and vind and, and jealous because they see you moving on. They see goodness coming into your life and they just simply want to 
um, I get a sense of like they they just trying to ride your coattails so they can get some of this success too. But you got good things coming in, beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Someone could be dealing with someone named Mary, someone with an M, J, or B in their name. Kim also is coming out. But just keep yourself protected. Keep doing what you're doing. There's nothing really I need to say to you other than don't look back. You know what I'm saying? Like if your past come knocking, that they don't have nothing new to say. I feel like you will know if someone's being genuine or sincere. With that song, Contradiction, I feel like someone's just going to contradict themselves yet again. And it's just going to show you like they're just still full of ish. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I appreciate you. And I hope that the message has resonated. If you're new, I hope that you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I thank you so much. Enjoy. Peace.